Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to check out Night King's host. Uh, we're going to check out the trainer part of it. I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see how well it works. Uh, for the game, we're going to be using Ghost of Tsushima. I am currently on version 1.12, which is the latest that we can use on 7.55. I went ahead and I checked, and it is there, it's just a different title ID, but uh, most games that I do test, they, uh, it doesn't matter the title ID, as long as it's the same game version, majority of the time, the cheats still work, so we'll give it a try, see what happens. We'll go over to settings here, I'll show you that I do not have debug settings, and we'll go up and enable the network, and then we'll go ahead and launch our browser, we'll just do the usual, close the window, Delete all. Go to our browser history and clear that. Go into our settings and delete cookies and clear our website data. Okay, so we'll go to our bookmarks. I already have it bookmarked. It's 4.7, the version that we're going to be using. And it's just the main URL, as you can see up at the top. It's just nightkingshost.github.io. Uh, we're currently on 7.55, so we're going to go with the 7.55 full auto. Uh, full auto. Uh, if you're on a different version, you can use whichever one that, uh, whichever one you need to use. So we'll go ahead and select this, and we'll give it a few moments here to install the cache. It shouldn't take too long, as you can see, it's going pretty quick. We're already at 50%. There's our 75%. And there's our 100%. So we'll wait for the message to come up. And there we go. Turn off internet and reopen to run the WebKit. So we'll go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Go over to settings and network. And we'll disconnect from the internet for now. We will re-enable it once we do get the jailbreak done because we'll need to load up the trainers. So we'll go ahead and launch our browser again. And we'll give it a few moments here just to load up. Okay, so there's one memory here. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. There's six. There's seven. There's eight. There's nine. There's 10. Okay, usually uh, when I hit 10, I usually just close out the browser and relaunch it. I know some people go with 5 and then some people go with 10. Let me know in the comments below what you do if you go f if you let it go for 5 and then you restart the browser or if you let it go for 10 or even if you just let it keep on going. So we are going in now. Um, see, sometimes just closing out the browser and relaunching it does fix the issue doesn't matter which host you use, it's going to always be the same. It's either going to be 1 or it's going to be 10 or if you let it keep on going, it might be 20. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, just keep on going. You'll eventually get in. So we're going to be going with the latest kernel exploit, which is July 20th. You can see there's uh, the older versions here, but uh, a 
I'd like to stick with the newest, so we'll go ahead and choose July 20th. And we'll just give that a few seconds. It shouldn't take too long, and we should get in there pretty quick. There we go. Exploit loaded. So we're going to go with Gold Hand 1.1. We'll give that a few moments to load. Okay, so Gold Hen 1.1 is loaded. We're going to go ahead and load Orbis's toolbox just so I can show you that it, we are on a different title ID. So we'll load that as well. Okay, load in Orbis's toolbox. Launching the payload. And there we go, that's loaded. So in order to use the PS4 trainer, we need uh, WebRTE. So we'll go ahead and launch that as well. Launching the payload. And PS4 trainer is launched. Okay, so there's a few options we can do here. You can go from here. Um, this is one of the ways. We don't have our internet connected now, so it's we're not able to actually go in that way. But if you do click on it, it will launch the page. The page cannot be displayed, but you can see if we can get it to uh, see. You can see Night King up here. This is the URL. So you can click it and go ahead and jump back out. Go to settings, and uh, I will show you that we're on. We have our debug settings, but uh, yeah, we'll go up and enable the network. And I will show you that we are on 11456. Okay, so we're going to launch our browser. And like I said, you can come in through this airway. Um, everything will load up and it will start installing the cache here. If you plan on playing offline, you can let this go. It might take a little bit of time, but either way, you can still do it. Uh, I'll show you another way, though, we can get in there. If we just close out that window, we go into our bookmarks again. We can go in from right here, offline cache, or sorry, offline trainer cache. So we can go ahead and select that, and it brings us into the same thing. So up the top here, we're going to go ahead and type in localhost. And we'll search for the game. I don't have the game load or launched yet, but uh, I just want to show you that uh, that it is here. I should be able to just type in Ghost of, I think. Yeah, and there we go. So you can see the version is 13323, but we'll give it a go and see if it'll work just the same. So we'll go ahead and launch Ghost of Tashima. And we'll give it a few moments here just to get loaded. Okay, it does take a little bit to load. I know when I was backing up this game, it, it had so many small files. Um, the reason why I back up most of my games is just easier than because uh, I have my my regular PS4 downstairs and then I have uh, I have my jailbroker one upstairs. Um, it's just easier than having to run downstairs, grab the disc, bring it up, and then sometimes I'll forget it upstairs and then I'll have to just. So I I, I like to back it up. It makes it just a little easier. Um, but all my games I buy. So go ahead and just hit continue. We'll just give it a few moments here just to, to get loaded in. Okay, I know I just started it, so it's probably close to the beginning. I don't know if I can skip this or not. I think uh, we have to go through with it. 
But it shouldn't take too long and we should be able to There we go. Okay, can we skip this part if I hit uh, start? Okay, and there we go, we're loading in. Uh, if I recall, I think our weapons are right over here, maybe? Um, it's been a while since I played the first of this game, but I thought our, our weapons were right here, but maybe I'm wrong. Just go for a little walk here. Okay. And uh, I just have my volume down here. I'm just going to turn up my volume. I'm not sure why it's down, but I can't really hear anything, so. There we go. That there should, uh, that should work a little better. Okay, and we'll open up this, maybe this is where our weapons is, I remember it being in a chest. There we go, so we should be able to, uh, let's see if we can enable some cheats now, we'll just go ahead and Hit that, we'll go into our web browser again. And we'll just go ahead and type in localhost up here. And there it is, it remembers it, which is good. And we'll search for the game. select it, PS4, or sorry, trainer attached, everything is good, so let's go ahead, infinite health, uh, we'll just, and we'll just enable everything here, there we go, go ahead and hit our PlayStation button, and just relaunch the game, uh, most of this stuff we won't be able to uh, really check out, but uh, we can certainly check out our health, I think we go th we go this way here and jump out the window. At least that's what I thought. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'm just not hitting the button right. No, I know I know I can remember that it was jump out this window, so maybe there's something else I'm missing before I can leave. Okay, I can exit that way. So let's just exit this way here. We'll just It's definitely longer than I thought. I thought we'd be able to to get right in here, but uh 
Seems like I wasn't that far. Okay, now this is the part that I must jump out the window. There we go. Okay, hopefully we can get into some combat uh, the game didn't crash yet so that's a good sign Okay, we'll just keep on doing our escape here. Hopefully we can get into combat uh, just to see if we can see if the infinite health works. I'm pretty sure it'll work. It does work for most games. Okay, I almost gave myself away there. Just go around this way.
So far, so good. Definitely not that uh, button. There we go. Did I see? That I seen a something I can interact with. There we go. We got a sword now. Okay, looks like I have to go through combat training. Um, it's been a while since I played this game, but it's starting to all come back now, though. They did an amazing job on this here, on this game. The uh, the graphics are really well. I haven't tried it on PS5 yet. I don't know if there's a PS5 upgrade or not, but it is something that uh, I may go through the playthrough again and try it out on the PS5. There's my health. Okay, so we can test health now, and we'll just see if uh, see if it goes down.
Okay, so the infinite health does work there, so we can go ahead and... Oh, I never pressed L1 quick enough. There we go. Okay, we'll give it uh, a few more minutes here, but uh, I'm pretty sure all the cheats will work. Uh, if you guys want to watch me play games, let me know. I can uh, certainly start up a gaming channel. I enjoy playing all games. I usually uh, usually play them on my retail PS4 because I'm into trophies. I enjoy getting getting the trophies and trying to get all platinums. But yeah, if you're interested in something like that there, maybe I can start up one of those channels. And we'll go from there. But I'm going to cut the video out here. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and like it. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.